What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more eSports UFC 4. We're diving in today against Chan Sun Jung, another title defense for Arturo Ramirez. We're going to be diving in though to our Fighter Evolution page. We're just going to check this out real quick. I don't really know what to go for. I've, I say this all the time now. But I thought like, uh, yeah, the leg strength is pretty good. Obviously we're firing off a lot of leg kicks. We want to keep uh, keep that leg health high, especially when they're checking a lot of them. So we're going to dive in though. Chan Sun Jung is up next, a very durable guy. Walks forward, he's known as the Korean Zombie. So you know, he's a very, very durable guy. But um, how do you kill a zombie? Blunt force trauma. And that is how we're going to take this man out. Head kicks, freaking range. We're going to just try and destroy him. Aturo, probably the most violent fighter on the channel so far. When it comes to just vicious knockouts and just absolutely viciousness. When it comes to just crazy shots and stuff. I'd say he's the best. I'd say he's the best when it comes to that. I, I think in the grappling terms, he's probably not the best. But he's definitely up there on the top 10 pound for pound for me. Let me know down in the comments below where you rank Aturo in terms of all the fighters that have came before him. I think Hector Basileus is probably the greatest of all time, but I do think Aturo, if he carries on this route, could definitely be joining Hector Basileus in that category, in, in that conversation, you know? Uh, but here we go, Aturo grown his beard out a bit. He's getting pretty old at this point. Um, he's no spring chicken anymore. Here we go, Chan Sun Jung up next. We're going to see how this one goes. I'm looking to see... A, uh, a decent fight here. I know Chan Sun Jung always comes to fight, always comes to scrap. We're going to see that big shot there from Aturo early. Lands flush. Going to keep that range. There we go. Body work there. Working perfect. Big shot. There we go. That's what we want. Just beat up that body. Leg kicks are in there as well. Aturo is really, really, really teeing off early. Very, very accurate. Very, very quick. Now you're starting to see visible damage on that leg of his Visible damage. And you see him start to make the body. We're trying to slow Chan Sun Jung down. Because his leg is so beat up. It's red. Leg kicks and body kicks. He's limping. He's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong. Big shot there for the Korean zombie. Leg damage he has taken. Oh, goes for a takedown there. Nice grappling from the Korean zombie. Big elbow there from the bottom though from Aturo. This could be the beginning of the end. Does he get up? Does get straight back up. Oh, nice slip and a body kick there for Aturo. Good shot. Oh, clipped him. Body kick there. Just blocked by Chan Sun Jung. Leg kick there from the zombie. Oh, ho, ho, ho. beautiful shot. Kind of ripped the body there. Nice. Pretty well here Beautiful leg kicks. Aturo can't up. hang in the pocket for Chan Sun Jung. He hits very hard. Then again, though, so does Aturo. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Beautiful. Just a little slip there with the elbow. Beautiful. There it is again. Violent shots there. Trying to work the clinch there. He's walking him down. Big body shot. Pure and utter violence. Ramirez teeing off. Another body kick. Slipping punches. Shot. Turns him. Gonna gonna try and throw him. I can't. I can't. Okay, I was gonna try. Alrighty. He's struggling to get us down now, man. Alright, so both fighters are sort of struggling for position here in the clinch when you find yourself in this city. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful combination there. Very quick. Oh! The Hustler. Come on. Let's go. Goes for a takedown. Does get it. Nice grappling there from Chan Sun Jung. Alright, half guard for him here and a lot of position, though. options I would think at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has some stand back up though. Nice. Beautiful. What a round. What a round. Incredible round. Just keep going. Slip that. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Insane combination there. Drops the Korean zombie. Gonna keep rolling. Aturo looks fresh. Round two coming up. Here we go. Try the leg kick there. Just gonna work back to working the body. Get clipped there a little bit. Good shot. Oh, I got one of those too, buddy. And as he stands up, gonna eat a body kick doing that. Beautiful. 
Two are throwing absolute heat here, man. I think he might get that. No, he does not. Oh, dude, that's over. That's over. Turo looking for the finish. Turo Ramirez. Second round finish. The Hustler. Still the featherweight champion. Who is next? That's a big win. That was a huge win for him. Let's go. Taking out Chan Sun Jung there. Boom. Boom. Violent finish again. Boom and boom. Sent him down. Left hand lands clean. Another win for Aturo. I think that might have been his 30th fight in the UFC. Which is just crazy to even think about. Insane. I think that might have been his 30th. I'm not too sure. 1.35 million there for a, for a freaking Aturo. Let's go. Insane. Absolutely insane. I don't know what else he's got to prove. This could be his final episode, to be honest. This could be. I think there might be one more after this, but we'll see. He's Honestly, he's been just smoking people left, right, and center. There's still the potential fight with Curtis Banks. I think what we'll do, send in your fighters down in the comments below. I don't know. I think this episode will be the penultimate one, and then the next episode will be the finale for Arturo Ramirez. He has smoked everybody. It's crazy to think how crazy this dude has been in the octagon. He's just smoked everyone. And even the people that he's lost to, he's came back and destroyed. If we look at the legends he's beat with Peyton Benjamin, Cody Garbrandt, Henry Cejudo, um, freaking, he's beat some big names. Chan Sun Jung's in there as well. Uh, Volkanovski, he's beat some real big names. Jose Aldo, he, he's, he's one of the best ever, in my opinion. And uh, he takes out Chan Sun Jung again tonight. Another flawless victory for the Hustler. I don't know what's next for him. But uh, you got to imagine, it's got to be a big name. I wouldn't mind fighting uh, Max Holloway, Calvin Cater, you know, someone like that. I want to fight someone new, you know. Another title defense there. If we have a look at this belt so far, we have defended it against Dan Hooker. Wait, we beat Dan Hooker for the belt, though. So that doesn't make sense why that's a duel. Um, then we defended it against Josh Emmett, Alexander Volkanovsky, and, of course, just a minute ago, Chan Sun Jung. Another knockout victory there for Arturo Ramirez. He just finds the chin. No matter what, he finds the chin. And uh, he will knock you out cold, man. This dude's a savage. We're going to keep moving, though. Who is next? I want Calvin Cater, Zabit, Max Holloway. Those three fights, I think uh, I think they're the only ones that I'm interested in. If we have a look at the rankings real quick, just to see who's where. Um, so we beat Dan Hooker. Zabit's coming up. Oh, okay. So four fights left in this division. Maybe five, potentially. Uh, if we have a look. So Zabit is definitely a fight that I want. Yair Rodriguez, again, another fight that I wouldn't mind fighting. We just beat Chan Sun Jung. Michael Richardson is a randomly generated fighter that I'm not interested in fighting. Volkanovski we've already beat. Calvin Cater is a fight I definitely want because he's new and we haven't fought him yet. Jeremy Stevens, I wouldn't mind that fight. And Max Holloway. That is it. Jeremy Stevens, Max Holloway, Calvin Cater, Zabit, Yair. So five fights I would accept. The rest of them, they're getting declined. If it's a Volkanovski rematch, you can get out of here. If it's a Chan Sun Jung rematch, you can get out of here. And if it's a Dan Hooker or a Josh Emmett, you can get out of here as well. So we'll see. Who is it? Calvin Cater. Perfect. I'll take that fight. Let's keep going, man. The next fight is here. Calvin Cater gets his shot at the title. I'm excited for this one, man. We've never actually fought Calvin Cater in the UFC before. So this is a, this is a brand new experience. A brand new fight. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know how this one's going to go, though. Our footwork took some beatings in training. Just uh, I think we had an ankle injury, which isn't great. Going to get a head movement up a little bit. Just kind of rounding off these uh, skills here. We've got some more block in there as well. Let's dive in to Calvin Cater. He is up next. Let's see how he does against the Turo Ramirez. So far, flawless at featherweight. No one has been able to touch a Turo at featherweight. Pedro, uh, or Pedro Munoz was bantamweight. So, uh, yeah, no one has really... Gave him a hard fight. I think Pedro was our last hardest fight, and that was a uh, that was a bantam weight. So since then, you know, featherweight could be the natural weight for Arturo Ramirez. We've seen him really flourish as a featherweight. He's beat up some real big names. Like I said, though, this will be the penultimate episode. The last episode will be tomorrow. Um, I don't know who we're going to face off against. I know the last fight will be Curtis Banks, just to shut that dude up. And then uh, we're sailing off into the sunset. But Calvin Cater, we've got to focus on this man in front of us. You know, we're still holding on to the featherweight title. So uh, let's try and do that by the end of this video. Calvin Cater, though, up next. Excited for this one. Like I said, first time we fought him, it's uh, going to be a new experience. Let's see how he goes, though. Very tricky kickboxing. I really like Calvin. I think he's one of my favorite fighters in the UFC. Very precise. 
Very crisp boxing. I love his stance in this game too. Let's see how it goes though. We're going to use the same kind of uh, game plan for this one. Keep the range and uh, might be a little bit more difficult though because Calvin obviously does have the range advantage. But I'm going to land to the body. going to try and slow him down again with the leg kicks as well. He'll be looking to just slow Calvin down there. Something I feel like Aturo does very well is blitz you. He throws a lot of combinations. Okay. There we go. Calvin tough as they come though. It's going to be hard to get him out of here. Nice shot to the body there. Trying to batter up the body and the legs early. The knockout will present itself later in the fight, I believe. There we go. Nice head movement there to get out of the way. That punch and him throw a kick behind it. Not a factor for this striker. Shot there. I'm trying to land to that body like crazy. Big shot there. Nice counter straight. Grappling here from Kata. Turo says no. Can I turn him? I tried to turn him up against the fence there. Is that switch kick again from Ramirez? Beautiful, beautiful punches landing. I think there's a cut on the eye of a Turo. Turo trying to swing for the fences there with that. Over and over he landed. And that switch kick lands. Look at him working. A jab there from Kata. The oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection. Legs getting beaten up that. though. Great connect. So fast. Good so shot. accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Double it up on the leg kick there. Kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. Beat him with that he overhand there. That would have been nice. Now he's been driving kick after kick okay. into his opponent. Did oh, spinning kick to the body there for Calvin. Oh, blocks that kick okay. to the body. Nicely done. Okay. Spinning back fist. Man, I've got some spinning shit too, Calvin. Let's go. Been a really interesting fight so far. Oh, he's got that right Clicked hand me a fair few times. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many Beautiful left combination down. there. That right punch. Violence the at its finest with Aturo. Oh, and he connects with a Ooh, punch what happened there, there bro? You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws. The shot great. there for Ramirez. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. That straight right is landing a lot for Ramirez. Head movement as well, been on point for Aturo tonight. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really clinch. overwhelming his opponent with activity. Good jab. Shoots in. Aturo. Beautiful takedown defense. Really, really uh, turned into a very interesting style of fighter, Ramirez has. If we look at his career early, he's turned into a bit of a brawler. And now, he, he's really, really evolved into a a thoughtful, you know, sniper, as uh, I'd say. But, you know, he's still got that brawling tendencies there as well. But there you go. A very good round from Aturo. I think he did win that round. I think it was a little bit too close, but you know, I do think he took it. He don't want to touch gloves with you either. He just wants to get in there and beat you up and go home. Fight Respect after, but not during. With their legs, kind of gets in their head, and they think, whoa, dude, this guy doesn't like me. Oh, Turo doesn't really give a fuck if they do or not. He's a savage. Oh, oh, lit him up there. Beautiful combination. And that was the game plan. You know, if he comes in, he leaves himself open, and Turo's got the speed to be able to explode into these combinations. As we see there. Cracked him up there. A beautiful combo. Look at, the, look at the strikes, man. Teeing off so far. So violent. Trying to sit that punch. That's what dropped Kater the first time. Oh, hurt the leg there. Kater, though, he's not out in this fight. Ramirez got to watch out. He has been unable oh, to man. grapple with Aturo Ramirez. He has said no at every exchange. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his shot is looking for him to mix it up. Body a strikes there. Another leg shot. Because they don't Fire it upstairs. Oh. Dropping him there, though. Ramirez goes on top. Here we go. Seeing a bit of that grappling advantage here. Half guard. Here we go. Some posture. Let's try and beat that body up a little bit as well. You guys said you wanted to see a little bit more grappling from Aturo. Here you go. Beat up that body there as well. Trying to target all areas of Calvicator. Side control. 
Want to work that cut there, nice really. Want to work that cut. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Making it ugly Why on the bottom here. Playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Calvin Cates is busted oh, up here, work. man. The grounded pound strike is good. Well, Shots are landing. Denies so that. Turo's making that freaking canvas. He's painting it with Calvin's blood. Dude. He is just holding him down. He's smashing him up with these little shots here. Oh. Going to the body there. Calvin's face is a mess. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC. But Painting the canvas. Careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Calvin manages to get back up. Gets up again here, but hurt. Good shot there from Kater. Well, Turo says, "Come on." Times, not on that attempt. Oh, that's a good right hand. Switch that punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, big shot. As the round ends, they're just staring at each other. Wow, what a round for Turo. Amazing round. Let's go. And again, he's just going to say, let's go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, my God, the head movement from Ramirez. Shot to the body there, stings him with that kick. He's come back. Let's go again. Come on. He is just calling him on. Calvin can't land. Aturo, I think he, he could... There's an argument here that he is one of the greatest of all time. There's an argument. Calvin does not want to come close. Man. Aturo here just showing his dominance. Dominating Kata. Just beating him up in every aspect. My God. Turo here, looking for it. Stinging him again to the body. My God, what a performance. Turo is just, he's just taunting him every chance he gets. There's bad blood between these two. Caters, he is spent, he's tired. Turo now working to shut them lights out. Big shot to the body. Says, come on, Kater's busted up here. This is a dominant performance from one of the best ever. Elbow sends him down. Aturo on top. Trying to get that finish. Still cannot. Kater's tough as hell, man. Up he goes. Over two minutes now to go. Come on. Big right hand, yes. Let's go. What do you got, Kater? What do you got? Oh, trying to step in there. Body shot. Oh, he's going upstairs with that. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? Well, he is really starting to apply Kater is tired, man. We've worn him down. Turo's night. still fresh, he though. Up for lost time now. Just trying to get that knockout. I'm trying to see that big... There it is. There it is. Insane finish. The Hustler. There's none better. There's none better. One of the greatest of all time. Right there. One of the greatest. What a finish. Boom on the chin. Down goes Kata. Out cold. Very, very good knockout there. And he is and out cold. KO stiff. Finished. Tonight. It ends with a Insane. Victory. The best ever. Sure One of the best ever. Be Him and Hector Basileus, I'd say, the they're definitely up there. The best ever. Let's go. Domination of Calvin Cater there. The domination. Just standing in front of him and whatever Calvin was throwing, the Turo was just shaking. Shaking off. He's like, nope. That didn't hurt. And then some of them, he'd even slip. He'd slip and come back and land some bombs. He's the best ever. He's one of the best ever. Insane. you gotta, you got to understand. The two-weight world champion destroyed Calvin Cater, destroyed Dan Hooker, destroyed Jose Aldo, Henry Cejudo, freaking just everybody. Dominic Cruz twice, Peter Yarn. 
He's one of the best ever. He's one of the best. There's only a few people left on this uh, on this thing that I want to fight. Uh, Calvin Cater we just beat. Uh, Zabit Yair Rodriguez. Zabit Magomed Sharipov. Um, I think Max Holloway. I think that's it, to be honest. That's it. Three fights. And, of course, Curtis Banks, he's going to get that smoke. But I think even after these performances, I don't know if uh, Curtis is going to be wanting to fight a Turo after that, to be honest. But... Um, there we go. Another big win. Chan Sun Jung and Calvin Cater full victim to the Hustlers. Just unbelievable presence in that octagon. Another one bites the dust. Now, yeah, like I said, Max Holloway, uh, Zabi, and Yair. They're the only three names that really interest me. Jeremy Stevens, not so much. Calvin Cater beat Jeremy Stevens. Yair Rodriguez beat him as well. And I believe Zabi did as well also. So, you know, not really interested in uh, Jeremy Stevens. I'm more interested in uh, uh, Max Holloway. Yaya Rodriguez, and of course is a beat. One of those fights uh, I want to make. I'm going to decline anything else, um, and we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, John Dodson, the new uh, bantamweight champion, didn't run into him, I don't think, when uh, when he was on the way up, which is a little bit annoying, but there you go. I want to beat or Yair. I think Max Holloway is quite out of the picture, uh, but to beat or Yair... Definitely one of these things that need to happen. Yaya Rodriguez, there we go. I was calling for it. We got it. Anyway, for today's episode, though, guys, I am going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you for more EA Sports UFC 4 next time. Stealth some guys. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you all again in the next one.